my parents uh, listened to the blues, and I didn't like it. I was I'm a, I like Motown, Stevie Wonder, The Temptations. So I heard it, and it was all right, but I considered it old folks' music. You know, I said, oh, here we go again. My mother left, my, my woman left me early in the morning. And then when they would leave, we could play their record player, and we played the music that we liked, you know. And then the appreciation came later, uh, when I got my heart broken a couple of times and I had me some real blues, then um, that music took on a whole different meaning for me. And uh, in fact, I happened, I happened to be living down in Biloxi at the time, and uh, there's a guy by the name of William Ferris. He's Dr. William Ferris. And he was at the Center for Southern Studies at the University of Mississippi. And he had a radio program called The Blues Doctor. And then I started really listening to a lot of the pre-war stuff again. And then all those seeds that were planted began to explode. My Uncle Woodrow, my Uncle Woodrow Chandler, uh, he played guitar and he sang the blues. In fact, he was the first blues man I ever saw. It scared me because I was a little, real little kid. And I ran in the kitchen and I said, Mama, Mama, something's wrong with Uncle Woodrow. He's in the front room hollering. And she just smiled. She says, oh, he's having fun. So I went back up there and I peeped around the couch. He had on had a little half pint there and had one of those old amplifiers. You have to wait for the red light to come on before it to turn on. And the guitar, I wish I had that guitar today. It would be eBay food. And uh, he was sitting there singing and just yelling and screaming away. And I'm just looking, saying, wow. You know, little did I know that uh, I would be, uh, the blues would call me. I've got to 
Walking's mine.